A very quick intro because I know you came to see Clota and hear her and not me. But I just want to say that you know this evening we're supporting you because on PBS um, Food Trails, yes, uh, just just by accident we saw an episode, so we taped all of them, and we so enjoyed visiting with you. And uh, when I found out that our distributor had uh, the new book coming out, yeah. I just thought, oh, I'll ask, maybe you'll say yes next time, and you said yes this time, so that's so lovely, so thank you very much for making the time to be here with She's us. She's wonderfully creative, and her tips, new house gifts, birthday gifts for any of the books, and now I'll be quiet, and so Clona is going to demonstrate um, from, from this book, as I said, the trifle. Yes. Yeah. And so, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Deb, and everybody else at Goldenberry for, for taking me along. I was saying it was such a beautiful journey to come out here. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make one of my favourite desserts. Um, it's something so incredibly easy. It's one of my kind of kind of, kind of fall to desserts on a, maybe on a Sunday. I love cooking Sunday roasts. It's a big Irish thing, and it's from, from people here from Ireland. And um, it's one thing we never fail to do, is it like the Sunday roast? And this is a gorgeous thing to me. It's, um, it's a white chocolate um, Baileys. Um, I call them trifles, but it's kind of like a tiramisu. And when Debbie um, introduced me, she also said that I lived in Italy. I lived in Italy for four years. So when I was there, I did perfect how to make the perfect tiramisu. Um, my partner, Peter, here, he'll vouch for me, won't you, Peter? Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I brought him along for vouching. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And um, and uh, so yeah, and I wanted to turn it into more Irish for myself because I'm using the gorgeous ingredients when I came back. Because when I came back to Ireland, um, five and a half years ago, the ingredients were so fantastic that, and I knew that because I used to run farmers markets in Ireland, that I wanted to take all of the wonderful cooking techniques that I'd learned in France and Italy, but make them Irish so that I could. So I'm going to make my lovely Irish babies and raspberry and my chocolate try for this Sunday, but using techniques that I've kind of accumulated. Um, so what you need um, is some really good quality coffee, um, some babies obviously, white chocolate that I usually do up into shea mascarpone, which I'm very excited to say is from Vermont, um, <laughs> lovely, some gorgeous produce, and then also um, lady fingers, which they're like our, our bourdon, we call them bourdon biscuits. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they, they're gorgeous because, are you calling Buddha biscuits too? They're fabulous, okay. Um, they're lovely and crunchy, and that kind of, a lot of people used to, before use, you know, the, um, the trifle sponges, and they just get soggy yeah. and everything, and they're just mm. not very, so there's a tech, different technique, so this is a massive bowl, but anyway, I'm gonna fill it probably halfway. So the first technique, what you wanna do is, and you can make this the day before, so you can make this on a Saturday afternoon when you've got everybody coming around on a Sunday. Or else you can make them in little lovely little kind of like vintage cocktail glasses as well, what I do when I'm having a dinner party. Okay, so this is a good step to remember. When you're popping it into your coffee, it has to be cold and only flip it in there. If you let it kind of soak and sog inside there, um, it just doesn't turn out. The food is that there are so many different facets that actually make it wonderful. Obviously there's the flavor, which is number one. Um, but also is the texture. And it's important to remember that when you're layering, the first layer in here, and I'm gonna do another layer in a second. Um, so like this. Um, I've made this a couple of times before, and a few people have asked me, can you add a whiskey into this? You can, um, but it's, and I've, and I've tested it with whiskey, of course. Um, <laughs> but it actually takes away from the delicate flavor of the whole dish. Mm -hmm. And I think that because it's raspberry and it's white chocolate mm -hmm. and, and babies, it's all very kind of light and, and, and summery in flavor. And the whiskey just kind of takes away from it a little bit. So I'm not using a huge amount of coffee, as you can see. And as I'm doing it, I'm kind of squashing them all in because I want to make this lovely base. So a couple more and then I'll move on to them. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a mixture um, for to put on top of this. So I've got my... <coughs> those gold so pretty. Mm. These kind of bowls every demo I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's early from England. Yeah. Is it early? Yeah, yeah, handmade for the last like, 165 oh, really? years. Oh, really? Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. So, next, I'm putting in mascarpone cream. I love mascarpone. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just 
it's just complete and utter heaven. Um, how would I describe it? We haven't had a pen. We all had basketball in. Everybody has here. No need. If you can get your hands on basketball, I, I, I think I probably have the. You okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I found it was difficult to find the cheese and good um, lady fingers. So we actually found them and we have them here in the shop if you want to make the dessert. Instead of having to climb Mount Everest to find them, oh, we yes. have them. So I'm oh, sorry to interrupt them. I should have said it yes. Absolutely. So I'm going to mix all these through. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So if you can't find this and you're making it in a couple of weeks, what have you. Um, you can do double cream. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you call double cream here? You call it heavy, heavy, heavy cream. cream. Yeah. yeah, thank you. But this is heavy in this country. No. That's oh, it's not it? No, it's not like Irish. No, it's not like Irish cream? Mm -hmm. We have double cream here. Oh, okay. okay, you've got double cream here. So you can come into the shop and get double cream mm -hmm. and then whisk it up until it's lovely and thick. And then just fold it in using a spatula. Or is it my baby? My baby's is in here. So yummy. Okay. I love this. Mm -hmm. no. And I'm not a spokesperson for babies. Or anything. Mm -hmm. This, right, this on its own is absolute. Okay, so I've got my base in here. And the next thing then is I'm pouring in, let's say about half of this. And then I'm just gonna pour it all around like so. Let me get that lovely kind of oozy drippiness there. We're going to come back to this in a second. And then I'm just going to put on about half of this. So all this lovely white chocolate. Some people aren't big fans of white chocolate. And if you're not a big fan of white chocolate, I've got this other stuff here, which is cocoa powder, which is absolutely beautiful. And it creates a lovely kind of velvet rug over it. So if you don't like white chocolate, just don't worry about it. Just get this instead and get a little, I don't know, tea sieve or a small little sieve and just sieve it over. If you don't have that, just do a spoon and just make a lovely kind of a rug over it. Because that texture again is gorgeous. Plus the taste is beautiful. Now I'm going to get about half these gorgeous raspberries. And do I don't think I can replace the raspberries. They're so lovely and, and delicate and kind of plump. Um, could you strawberries? Strawberries just aren't the same, are they? In a dessert, no. raspberries. Mm -hmm. No. Um, if you had really lovely, um, if you had really lovely nectarines mm -hmm. that were lovely and ripe, that you would slice mm -hmm. and maybe roast a little bit with a little bit of honey, take them out. You can mm -hmm. cook them over. Mm -hmm. I've had that before. That's absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, this is such a visual dessert as well. So just make sure that. You know when you're popping around your raspberries like that, that you're popping in at the side as well, so you're getting that lovely layer that's kind of starting, if you can see right there. Okay, now the next one, I'm just going to do another layer again. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> getting trifle inspired. <laughs> okay, so the flavours you're going to be getting here, obviously, is a kind of coffee crunchiness. And why, the reason why it's important that I'm just, we we'll call it like a creme anglaise that I made here, that's actually going to soak into them below. And you, that's why you have to have it a little bit, not too soggy, so it's able to kind of hold it all. Okay, just a couple more. Sorry, Deb, I'm using all your... No, we have your a weaver. whole case full. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to do things in their little way. <laughs> Thank you. Like here. Okay, super. So that's there. I always just give it a little press. I think Bailey's is suited really, really well with um, with creamy textures, mm -hmm. like with the like like this. See how creamy that is for the Bailey's I did it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just do a taste test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Shout to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Bailey. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day um, is different in Ireland. Our Mother's Day was like two months ago. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get every single little bit of that out. No waste. So once you've made this, it would last about an hour. It would be good for about three days in the fridge. So you can really, you know, don't stress about the making of it. When I'm doing the last part of it, you'll say the bit where is the, say the, the presentation part of it. So it's the last layer. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to clean my hands there. I would usually put the white chocolate on the top. 
so that it just looks much, much nicer then. So I'm going to pop all the raspberries on the top like this. Oh, yummy. This is a great pudding because not only is it like beautiful to taste and the texture is beautiful and everything, it's total sensory overload for your eyes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like Pretty. you bring this to the table, nobody's going to go, oh, are they? Everybody's <laughs> going to be like, it's a memory. And I love creating memories at the table. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the most beautiful part of cooking mm -hmm. and feeding people is the memory that it creates like for everybody. And if I can do this in the middle of a shop <laughs> in 20 minutes, you can certainly do it at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I promise you that even though you didn't make it very easy by mm -hmm. putting everything out. So this oh. is my um, white chocolate and raspberry white chocolate, Baileys, and raspberry <laughs> trifle that you can make in any shop or in the country. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so everybody gets to taste it. It is a little bit better, I will say to you. Um, I love the doilies. Doilies are definitely having a big comeback, aren't they? The lovely old fat, I love it. It's really popular in our shop. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, if anybody would like a signed copy of my book, or if you want me to write a personal note to you, or to your, to your mother, or your mother and all your friends, or whatever, your babies, or children, whoever, um, I'd be more than happy. <laughs>